Welcome guys to our checklist. Our checklist today is that we're about to go live. So it's a very exciting time for any new business. Um, for myself, even when I launch a new business, I've launched hundreds of businesses online for people. But launching that business, um, you know, everyone's really eager to get it going. I see people get too eager and they just really want to make money and really get it out there and need to, you know, I need to get it live, I need to make sales, I need to make money. I understand that, but look, we need to pull up the brakes just a tiny bit. We just want to make sure that everything is working. Okay, so what I mean to make sure is that we're going to do a quick five minute checklist today before we get into it. One, we want to make sure your website is working on each browser. So what I mean by that is we want to make sure that your, you know, your website, whatever website you own, is working on every browser. So what we want to do is open up a couple of browsers, Google Chrome, test your website. So what I mean by testing your website is going through, clicking on, clicking on a product, Yep. Okay. So, yep, that's working. I'm seeing that's working. I just want to make sure my functionality is working. If I change this to medium and a green, making sure it's changing to green, perfect. And I want to add it to the cart. And I want to make sure that when we add it to the cart, as you can see there, we can actually continue shopping. Yep, that's working. And I want to be able to check out. Right. So, that's working fine. Next thing I want to do is I want to go over to a new browser. So the new browser I want to go to is I want to go over to Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, wherever you are, and just check your website. Just do it on as many browsers as you have. Check your phone. Make sure everything looks good. Make sure everything's working fine. Click everything again like I showed you earlier. Is we want to, you know, have a look at a product. Click on your products, making sure everything's lining up. Click on the, you know, even if it's a different product or the same product. Making sure that, you know, blue's working, pink's working. Everything seems to be pretty good for me. Yep, awesome. Add it to the cart. And now what I want to do is I want to check out. I want to make sure that it's going to go to the checkout page. Perfect. So I know that just testing a few browsers today, everything's working fine. The next thing I want to do is on our checklist, what's really important is doing a test order. I've seen a lot of people doing test orders and they haven't connected their their um their merchants like their merchant civilities or their paypal's up so how we're going to do that today is just click home go to your front of your page we're going to click settings okay and we're going to click the following first is we're going to have a look at your shipping make sure that you're not charging for shipping if you offer free shipping if you offer free shipping worldwide okay see it's set at ten dollars and twenty dollars hit edit Okay, and see it's 10 and $20. So if you're saying you got free shipping, make sure that you edit it and offer free shipping. Click free shipping rate and then click free shipping rate because you could lose sales. I've seen it happen before. People are like, I oh, offer free shipping. And then they had a lot of abandoned cart checkouts and they couldn't convert. So let's go back and let's change it to worldwide free shipping as well. Just like your suppliers give you. Go to edit if they do. And we want to make sure these are clicked to free shipping, guys. We really want to make sure because you don't want to be charging shipping if you say it's free shipping. That's why people are buying from you as well and then you're charging them $10 or $20. Save that. And now that, you know, all your shipping is free on your website. Okay, we're going to test that in a second. And now what we want to do is we want to make sure when we look at our settings in our payment providers, payment providers, that we've got everything set up. So if you can see this where it says complete setup, or edit, click complete setup. Once you complete this setup, it's gonna ask you for your business details. If you've got an ABN or anything like that, put it in. If you don't, it's you don't have to yet. If you've got an ABN and stuff like that, put it in. Put your business address, put your name and your last name and date of birth, and put in your um, products of services, okay? So I have a pet store selling pet products. You don't have to mention your dropshipping or do anything. It's gonna ask you here, what do you wanna see on the statement to your buyer on that credit card statement? So if your business is called Dog Store, call it Dog Store. So when they're shopping, they know when they're looking at their transaction, you know, if they spent $250 with me and I just said online buying, they don't know what it is. Put Dog Store so they know it's coming from your store so they're not gonna get confused and call the bank and say, hey, look, I've paid $200 and I don't know what it is, could you cancel it? And they'll get the money back, okay? Put your number there. No one's going to see that number. No one's going to see any of your addresses. This is just for Shopify. So just put in your details there, your phone number there. Put your Beesbean account number where you want the money to be transferred after it does it and press complete setup. Once you do that, you will be able to do Visa. So I'll just show you quickly. 
you will be able to do, you'll be able to take a lot of payment gateways, you know, different ways of payment. Now you can do Visa, Mastercard, Amex, and you can also do a lot of other other um, things like Apple Pay, Android, and stuff like that. If you'd like to add PayPal, just select PayPal Express in Australia. Keep in mind you must have a business PayPal account to use that service. Okay, and anything additional? What I mean by additional is Afterpay. Okay. Make sure you like if you want after pay, zip money or anything like that, you've been approved first, then get it connected. Also too, it's gonna to ask you, would you like to capture your payments manually? No, make it automatically. If you do it manually, that means you have to go into the auto and press, you know, charge card, charge card. Don't do it, just make it automatically. So it's automatically gonna charge. Save that. And now what you wanna do is you wanna go back to your dog store and make sure the following, that you're not gonna be charged shipping or anything like that. So if I go to 826, I'm gonna buy this now. Just test it on your store and go to uh, checkout. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your details in. Just like you're shipping it to yourself. Standard shipping is free, yes, yeah, so it's not charging me $10, that's good. Shipping is free, that's great. And now it should show me my payment gateways, what I can pay with. Here we go. Visa, MasterCard, Amex. I don't have anything to do with PayPal because I didn't connect it, but if you had PayPal, I'd ask you to sign it with PayPal. All you've got to do now is put the credit card details in. Okay, and look at that, you're ready to shop. Okay. All right, perfect. So now that's all good. That can be all, you know that's gonna work, so that's really, really good. The last thing on our list before we get going, is we've done it so we've made sure everything's working on the browser that worked great we make sure that you know everything is you know test orders and shipping is good and now we're going to make sure you have social media content social media content is is very important to have so what i mean by social media content i mean having posts on your social media channels if you go online these days this is what kids do this is what a lot of people do shopping they're going to see you on social media, but if they don't, haven't seen you on social media before and you're marketing to them, what they would want to do to you is that they want to have a look at your social media channels. Okay, they're going to snoop around and have a look what you've got there, who's liking you, who's following you, and stuff like that. But just remember, is you want to make sure that you have a minimum of 15 posts. Okay, so when people scroll down, it doesn't look like you've popped up overnight. Okay, so they don't just see, you know, today, look, 32 minutes ago, you've created a profile, uh, your first logo. 32 minutes ago, you've done your first Facebook cover photo. So what I usually do if I start a brand new business is that I'll hide this so they don't see these. Okay, I'll hide them just so it doesn't look like it's, you know, just popped up overnight. Okay? And then what I do is then I'm going to add some content. So what I do when I add my content, I use I use the like the term called jab, jab, hook. What that means is that I'm not just trying to do this the whole time. You know, buy this off, you know, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. No, we want to do content, content. It's called content, content, sell. So I'm just letting them know about us and then I'm letting them, you know, a meme. I have no idea what I'm doing and I've just put in our website is, is so easy. Your dog could order from us, shop now. And then I've put my shop address in there. So I'm just doing something a little bit funny, okay? And then I'm actually trying to sell them to them. So when I'm doing any content, just remember, jab, jab, hook. So it's content, content, sell. Mm -hmm. So my next my next bit of content now, what I'm gonna put on will be a jab. So jab, jab, hook. So I'll be looking to put some content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Canva, if you've got an account, and hit Facebook post. Once I hit Facebook post, it's gonna give me a ton of free layouts I can use, okay? And then out of the ton of free layouts we can use, I'm going to be using something here called, it's a pre-made template, so I can use any of these templates. But what I might do is I might just put in dogs to see what I have, okay, because I'm selling dog products. So as you can see, they've got a lot here. So what I'm trying to do today is I'm not trying to sell to them, to them today, I'm just going to put some details. Come sit and play. Um, I said, did you know we, have over 500 dog products. Okay, so just something, just something easy like that, and then I put like this: www. 
you know, my website name.com. So if your website's called, you know, billybob.com, it'd be billybob.com. So as you can see there, look, it's nice and easy there. And I'm just going to download that now as a PNG. And what I'm going to do, that's downloading. And I'm just going to add a new thing. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put, you know, an emoji if I just, you know, make it a bit easier. And I'm going to say, did you know? Okay. And then I'm going to upload the photo, what I just made. I think that's wrong. It's a wrong photo. Sorry. But I'm just going to use the right photo now. Okay. And when I do that, I've got the photo there. And then I'm just going to put a, you know, a shot now. I'm always going to link my store name back to my to my post. That's how I'm going to get somebody to click on it all the time. So if somebody doesn't, if someone clicks on it, they could buy from us. Share now. So as you can see, I'm not trying to sell to them. I'm just letting people know. I'm giving them content. I'm letting them know what I'm doing. Okay. Did you know? Did you know we have over 500 dog products? So as, as you can see, what I've done now is I've done two things. So content, content, trying to sell a product, as you can see. And now I'm back to my content. So I'll do one more bit of content and then I'll do a sales, then I'll do a sales post. So let's say if I do one more, one more bit of content, I'm just going to do one more up for you quickly. Okay. And then what I might, uh, instead of that, instead of, you know, building one up, what I might do is I might just go to Google and I might even put in dog memes because dog memes are funny. Okay. So you can see the dog meme, what I had last time. So when I have a look here, and today's Monday. Okay, maybe not that one. Um, I might just type in, because it's Monday. Puppy Monday memes. Okay, cool. So as you can see here, nope, not feeling this Monday thing. So as I said, it's quite funny. People love animals. It's a very easy way to do it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload that photo really fast. Okay. And then it's there and I'm going to put in Mondays. So I'm just going to put in, you know, Mondays are only, um, I say Mondays can only get better. Get free shipping on all orders. Hope this makes your Monday better. Okay. And I'm just going to do this. Shot now. Okay, when I do that, see, I'm just putting a little bit of content, something funny, but linking my store back. Always linking my store back. Okay, very simple, very easy. I'm going to put that on my story. So if anybody follows me, that will actually pop up. Okay, and I'm just going to post as normal. So now when we post this, guys, when we post this, it's going to go live, as you can see. So as you can see there, once you come over to the store, once you're adding, you know, 10, 15 bits of content, it's really good to making sure people, you know, are going to read it. You might notice, I'm going to show you something here, what's really important. You might see here how this has got 116 likes. This here has 153 likes. But this store has only been made 15 minutes ago. Okay, literally made 15 minutes ago. Look, when we're launching a brand new store and a brand new store only, um, we don't do it, we, we don't use it, but there is a service out there that can help you. Because are you going to buy from somebody who has, like, here's an example. If somebody's going to, you're going to see this on Facebook and there's zero likes, zero comments, nothing, people are not going to buy from you. I'm not sure why, but we've like there's studies out there. Okay. What I like to do is tell my customers about this company here. Okay. It's called the Social Kings with a Z. So the Social Kings instead of an S. It's called the Social Kings. What you can do literally is you can purchase likes, views, and comments.
okay? We've been working with these guys. We've just finished their websites and that. They've got an awesome service there um, where you can literally go to Facebook and t you know get Facebook likes. So what they will do for you is they will get content for you. So if you look at here, you can buy likes for your page. Okay, you can do 100 likes. So for the last three posts, 300, they will put 100 likes on your th last three posts. So one, two, and three. So they will literally make sure that you're getting likes on those. Okay, uh, you can also do, you know, Instagram followers. So you've got more people, you know, following your account. Okay, so what you can do is go to Facebook business, sorry. And you can actually come into here and you can buy 500 followers, 3,000 followers, 200, you know, 2,000 followers, 1,000, you know, all the way up. So if you click on this, you can literally, you know, have your business page of, you know, up to 10,000 followers. Okay. Very easy and stuff like that. Look, we don't condone it. We don't use it on our services. But if you are launching a new business and you do want to make sure you look yourself look a little bit bigger than you are, are people going to care about it? Yes. The bottom line, yes. So for a couple of bucks, you know, you can definitely make your page look a little bit bigger and stuff like that. And I would really suggest you do that um, if you're looking to do it. So again, it's called the Social Kings with a Z. Uh, they're in Australia as well. We've been doing their business pages. Uh, at the end of the day, we don't use it, but it's actually a really good service to use if you are starting a brand new business, guys. Keep that in mind, okay? Put the details on within 24 hours. You'll have all your likes and everything like you need, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do one last um, post. So we've done content, content, and now what we need to do is we need to do something called the, the hook, jab, jab, hook. Okay, so this is where we're going to try to sell our customers. We're going to go to our website. We're going to have a look around. We're going to have a look at some products, what you think what would sell or you'd like to sell or you know it's a good selling product. Okay, so if I just go, let's say, um, I don't know, I'm trying to sell a dog bowl or something like that. This is exactly how I would do it. I'd have a look around and I would just have a look at the best things. So let's say I might look at this kennel, this little dog kennel, and what I would do is I would do the following. Is that I'd find the best photo, probably this one here, probably because there's all different types. I'm going to copy this photo here, screenshot it or just paste it. Okay, I'm gonna copy the link in the address bar and then I'm gonna to go to Facebook. What I'm gonna do is I'm always going to use a technique like this. Okay, the reason why I'm gonna use this technique and I'll explain this technique to you is that the, the, the technique is, is that you wanna let them know some vital information about your business. The vital information you want them to know should be three, three strong points. Security dog hoodies. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, obviously it's not a dog hoodie, it is a, Kennel. Okay, so I'm going to just say this. Kennel, uh, you know, all new dog kennels, foldable dog kennels. So, okay. I'll put that like that, free shipping on all orders. So I'm telling you, these are brand new, just in store. They have free shipping on all orders. So when they buy, they know, they know that they're not gonna be, you know, obviously ask for more money and shipping rebates or anything like that, or shipping. And then uh, on sale now, 50% off. That's what a lot of people do when they boost a post and then they just post it. You're missing some vital information. The vital information you're missing here is the shop now, where they can buy it. Don't just link it to your website, link it directly to the product. If you link it directly to the product, they can click directly on it and purchase it instantly. They're not gonna search a site through thousands and thousands of products, or hundreds and hundreds of products to find them. But if you use that there, look how big that link is. It's too big. We wanna head over to a, we wanna head over to a website, what it's called, um, Bitly. Okay, what Bitly does, it allows you to make a link a lot smaller than it is. So if I paste the link in there, that's the link there what I can use now, see? That's gonna take me to that product instead of using the other one, what was huge, that big, too big. Delete it, paste it. Look how much better that looks. Take away the HTTPS, you don't need it. Hit it like that, and what we're gonna do now is share that, and just press share now. Once we do that, don't make it an offer, just do it as a normal post. But is what, what we're gonna see now is once, we, once we've posted this, we're gonna see look, all new dog um, foldable kennels, free shipping on all of us, on sale now, 50% off shop now. 
If I click on that, it's going to directly go to my dog kennels because I've made that link and people can literally come straight in now and purchase from me. Add it to cart, best case scenario, you'll get a sale. See what I mean? So instead of them going to my homepage, looking through my whole website, looking for that dog kennel that was on sale, someone knocks on my door, I get a phone call, I forget what I've looked at and I go off to another thing. Okay? It's very important that you direct your link straight up. So if we look at our content now, Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I've been doing, you know, doing a live video, but I've done one, two, so I've done, look, I've done content, content sold. Okay, so that's what you want to be doing, guys. So just keep that in mind of what you should be doing when you're doing stuff. And it's really, really important to make sure that you've got a lot of content. Make sure you've got a minimum of 15 posts, guys. Maybe think about using the social kings to actually boost some posts and stuff like that to make you guys look a little bit bigger. Because if you've got you know, zero likes and it's only you liking it, it's not that good. But if you've got hundreds and hundreds of likes and stuff like that, you know, heaps of likes and that coming through, it's going to make it a lot better for you because a lot of people will look at that. All right, guys. Well, the next thing is we're going to get into is we're going to get into building Facebook posts. That's our next thing. We're going to talk about generating money now, generating sales and generating. So just remember, if you don't have this checklist on, if you haven't done all of this in the checklist, guys, please do not go live on your website. Do not go live on your website. Make sure that you've done your website is working on each browser. It's looking professional, looking good. Make sure you have done a test order on your website so you know that your payment gateways are done. The reason why I'm saying that is because I've seen multiple businesses not have their PayPal connected up. I've had multiple businesses that you know have not had any kind of payment gateway set up. There are people are trying to buy off them and they don't notice, and then they get an email three days later after spending $150, hey, I just wanted to buy that t-shirt from you, but it says I can't pay, there's an error. So think of all the people sales you would have had and the money you can lose if you don't get things set up. Make sure that everything's working on every browser, guys, and make sure that you have social media content. If you don't have social media content set up, kiss sales goodbyes, guys, literally kiss your sales goodbye, okay? So the next video, what you'd want to go over to is about everything Facebook and Instagram marketing. So the next one we'll be doing will be our Facebook marketing, how to go live, how to do Facebook marketing, and how to target people who are interested in your products. Okay, guys? Thank you.